Hello, I am Niveta and this is a video on how to interface a digital sensor and in this case a PAR sensor to Arduino Uno and program it using PRC. So this is the Tinkercad design. Here you can see that I have used a PAR sensor and a piezo buzzer. PAR sensor is a passive infrared sensor and it is a digital sensor since it outputs only two states either low or high. Low is 0 volt and high is 5 volt. So the PAR sensor has three pins. The power pin should be connected to 5 volt of Arduino and ground should be connected to ground and the signal pin should be connected to any of the digital pins of Arduino. So the PAR sensor detects change in heat. So when a human or an animal comes into the range of PAR sensor then there will be a change in heat due to the body temperature and so it will give a output of high or else it will give a output of low. High is 5 volt and low is 0 volt. So here you can see that the pins are, uh, and the programming is done in such a way that when the PAR sensor senses the presence of humans then piezo buzzer will be turned on or else piezo buzzer would be turned off. So here you can see that the pins of PAR sensor are signal, power and ground. So the order is signal, power and ground here. But if you buy a PAR sensor and try to do the experiment practically then the order of the pins is in this manner. So first is the power or the DC voltage, second is the signal or the output pin and the third pin is the ground pin. So if you are trying it practically make sure that you give the wiring correctly. So here you can see that the signal pin of the PAR sensor is connected to digital pin 1 and the piezo buzzer is connected to digital pin 2. Since the microcontroller used in Arduino Uno is at Meha 328p, we need to determine to which pins the uh, digital pin 1 and 2 correspond to. So for that we need to see the mapping. Here we can see that digital pin 1 is port D pin 1 and digital pin 2 is port D pin 2. So the PAR sensor is connected to PD1 and the piezo buzzer is connected to PD2. So now let us see the circuit diagram for piezo buzzer. So piezo buzzer is connected in this manner. One end of the piezo buzzer is connected to the supply through a 1K resistor and the other end is connected to port D pin 2. You can exchange the two wires of the piezo buzzer and still get the same output. There is no particular positive or negative wire. So when PD2 has a state of low, then there will be a potential difference across the ends of the circuit and the piezo buzzer would be turned on. But when PD2 has a state of high, then there would be high at this point and 5 volt also is high. So there wouldn't be any potential difference and the piezo buzzer would not be turned on. So the program should be in such a manner that if PD1 is high, buzzer should be turned on or else buzzer should be turned off. So this expression checks if PD1 is high. And to turn the buzzer on, PD2 must be given a state of low. This expression would give a state of low to PD2. And to turn the buzzer off, PD2 must be given 1 and this expression gives 1 to PD2. To know the detailed explanation of how this expression checks if PD1 is high or how these expressions would give a state of low or high to PD2. I'd suggest that you see my video on reading from or writing to individual pins of AVR microcontroller. There I've given detailed explanation of these expressions and how we arrive at that meaning. So now let us see the code. I have included the header file avr slash io.h and in the main file main uh, function first I am specifying that pd1 is an input since the PIR sensor is connected to pd1 and I am also specifying pd2 is an output since piezo buzzer is connected to it ddrd is the direction register for port d and uh, there is an infinite while loop since the uh, inside the bracket I have given 1 the condition will always be true and the statements within the while loop will keep on executing. So first it checks if PD1 has an input of high. Then the buzzer would be turned on by giving 0 to PD2 or else the buzzer would be turned off by giving 1 to PD2. 
So now I have already started the simulation and I have also connected the voltmeter to, uh, to see visually the output from the PAR sensor. So now uh, the object uh, that is the human or the animal is outside the range of PAR sensor and now if I move it the stay uh, the output from the PAR sensor is 0 volt so the piezo buzzer is off but if I move it inside the range then the output would go to high and the piezo buzzer would be turned on. So that is the sound of the piezo buzzer. Now I am moving the object outside of the range and the piezo buzzer should be turned off. In this website the PAR sensor takes a very long time to go from high state to low state but if you do the experiment practically there wouldn't be such a uh, high delay for the PAR sensor to go from high state to low state. So now let us wait for the PAR sensor to go to, to output a state of low and for the piezo buzzer to stop. So now the piezo buzzer has stopped and the voltage has come to 0 volt. Now if I again move the object into the range, again the piezo buzzer will be turned on. So thank you, if you find any mistakes in the video, please leave it in the comments. Thank you.